Today, we delve into the relentless menace that threatens our flourishing plants. Aphids. These seemingly innocuous, sap-sucking insects possess an insidious power to wreak havoc on our botanical sanctuaries. Aphids multiply at an alarming rate, draining plants of essential nutrients and leaving behind a trail of weakened greenery. Their voracious appetite for new growth not only stunts plant development, but can also transmit diseases, turning our once thriving gardens into battlegrounds. Join me as we unravel the epic tales of five garden defenders, our bug buddies ready to munch away those aphids and restore our plant paradise to its full glory. Let's kick things off with the iconic ladybug, the undisputed champion of aphid annihilation. Did you know that a single ladybug can devour up to 5,000 aphids in its lifetime? Talk about a voracious appetite. But here's a twist. Ladybugs aren't born looking like the vibrant beetles we know and love. They start as tiny eggs, hatch into larvae resembling tiny alligators, and undergo a stunning metamorphosis. So how can you invite these lovely ladies to your garden? Firstly, cultivate a diverse array of plants that provide ample nectar like dill, fennel, or marigolds. Ladybugs adore these floral delights, making your garden an irresistible hotspot. Consider planting some early blooming flowers to welcome them in spring. Secondly, minimize the use of chemical pesticides. Those harsh chemicals might deter them from making your garden their home. Finally, a cozy shelter never hurt anyone. Ladybugs appreciate a good hiding spot during hot afternoons or rainy days. Integrate small shrubs or ornamental grasses to offer them refuge. Remember, it's not just about having ladybugs in your garden. It's about creating a welcoming haven that encourages them to stay and dine on those pesky aphids. Now let's unravel the mystery of lacewings. These delicate insects lay their eggs strategically near aphid hotspots. The larvae, often referred to as aphid lions, are relentless predators, feasting on aphids with gusto, but also on mites and other soft-bodied pests. But did you know that adult lacewings are avid fans of nectar? It's like having a dual purpose ally, pest control and pollination all in one. How can you entice these graceful garden guardians into your green sanctuary? Firstly, plant a variety of small flowered plants like daisies, goldenrod, yarrow, dill, coriander, or angelica. Choose not only those with small open flowers, but also ones that release a subtle fragrance such as alyssum or cosmos. Lacewings are drawn to these blossoms like a symphony of colors and scents, creating an irresistible allure for them. Secondly, ditch those chemical pesticides. A pesticide-free environment will make them feel right at home. Lastly, create cozy nooks for them to lay their eggs. Lacewings prefer sheltered spots, so incorporating low-growing vegetation or ground covers provides the perfect hideaway for their tiny eggs. Say hello to the masters of mimicry, the hoverflies. Resembling bees, these agile insects are anything but ordinary. Hoverfly larvae are aphid-eating machines, consuming their weight in aphids daily. Their insatiable appetite targets aphids, thrips, and other tiny pests, contributing to the natural balance of your garden. However, the plot thickens when they transition into adulthood. They become expert pollinators. Their agile flight patterns, resembling a whimsical dance, navigate them to a smorgasbord of floral delights. Opt for a diverse palette of flowers, from vibrant asters and sun-loving cosmos, to the delicate allure of calendula. These blooms not only provide a visual feast for your garden, but act as energy stations for hoverflies, sustaining them in their airborne pursuits. When choosing plants, think beyond color, consider shape. Hoverflies, with their sophisticated eyesight, are attracted to composite flowers and those with intricate shapes. Embrace organic gardening methods to ensure the larvae thrive and mature into their adult pollinator form. Lastly, don't tidy up too much. Hoverflies appreciate a bit of wildness and leaving some areas of your garden undisturbed provides suitable habitats for their larvae. Fallen leaves, decaying wood, and long grass offer shelter for these future garden guardians. Now let's delve into the intriguing world of parasitic wasps. Sure, the idea of wasps may give you the chills, but these tiny warriors play a crucial role. They lay their eggs inside unsuspecting aphids, turning them into involuntary babysitters for their developing young. It's a natural horror story with a happy ending for your garden. Each female wasp can lay hundreds of eggs during her life. Once hatched, the larvae consume the aphid from the inside, ultimately causing its demise. The immature parasitoids undergo development entirely within the aphid host, taking about one to two weeks to emerge as adults. After this phase, the parasitoid larva constructs a cocoon, giving rise to the distinctive aphid mummy appearance, brown gold and bloated. Upon adult emergence, a hole is cut in the mummy, and the parasitoid seeks food and a mate. Mated females then use aphid scents as a guide to locate hosts for egg-laying, 
showcasing their crucial role in natural pest management. Lastly, the soldier beetles are natural warriors against pests like aphids, mites, and caterpillars, making them valuable allies for a thriving garden ecosystem. Recognizing soldier beetles is easy due to their hues ranging from yellowish to tan, coupled with distinctive large black spots on each wing, commonly referred to as leather wings. The coloration of soldier beetles can differ based on the geographical region they inhabit. Their journey begins as eggs laid in soil or among leaf litter. Once hatched, the larvae emerge, resembling tiny predators ready to feast on harmful pests. As they transition to adulthood, the soldier beetles continue their pest hunting mission. Attracting these garden guardians is a breeze. Plant a diverse array of flowers that offer abundant nectar and pollen. Soldier beetles are particularly drawn to blossoms like sunflowers, milkweeds, and zinnias. These floral hotspots not only provide sustenance but also act as meeting points for potential mates. Moreover, soldier beetles are fans of variety. Integrate a mix of plants with different heights, shapes, and textures to create a dynamic environment. This diversity offers shelter and harbors the insects they prey upon. As we conclude our exciting journey through the miniature world of garden defenders, it's clear that nature has equipped us with an incredible arsenal against aphid invasions. From the elegant ladybugs to the covert lacewings, the swift hoverflies, the strategic parasitic wasps, and the rugged soldier beetles, each insect we've encountered plays a crucial role in maintaining the delicate balance of our green sanctuaries. So, dear viewers, as you step into your gardens armed with newfound knowledge, consider these insect allies not just as defenders, but as partners in cultivating a thriving ecosystem. Support diversity, minimize pesticides, and create inviting spaces for these tiny warriors. Together, let's celebrate the intricate dance of nature and ensure our gardens flourish, vibrant and pest-free. But the burning question remains, which of these aphid killers has captured your heart? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, happy gardening insect lovers.